Good morning guys and welcome back. Um, so today, you might have figured out by the title, we're going to be installing some Euro grills and a front black grill on my E30. So you might have noticed that I actually already have Euro grills on this car. Um, but what you can see is they're actually quite weathered and they have never been changed, probably never cleaned sort of thing. And then obviously the chrome kidney grill, it's got a few dints in it there, there, etc. So basically, just to give this sort of a, and it's got cobwebs everywhere, to give it sort of a refresh touch, give it a more sort of aggressive look even though it already has those Euro grills. Um, I just went ahead and bought brand new ones all together when in reality probably didn't need to but I was probably just more excited to buy anything for this car than to uh, think logically. Anyway so I'm going to jump right into it. What you're going to need for this basically is a uh, Phillips screwdriver and that's about it. Let's get to it. Firstly what we're going to do my trusty kitchen knife is unbox this. Ah, it's hard to do with one hand, but wipe this on. Unbox it, get inside. <clears throat> So there you go, there's the new grills. Um, basically all it is just plastic. I mean it'll look cleaner on this than it does here. So voila. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the uh, chrome grill with this nice black one and that's super simple all it is is two clips here and here that you can pretty much there there yeah pry with your hand one and two oh. there you go sure it sure it's worn out um that's all it is two clips super simple pull it out through the front voila then all to do it to install reverse. Slide her in that way. See the two slide slips at the back? Make sure you just line them up. Just get a good fitment. And then I'll let it sit there for a sip. Grab the same clips, jump back around the front, and then Voila, one, two. That's super simple. That is literally like half a minute of work and you've already got that in. Super simple, no drama. So next thing next, we'll get these grills in. I just got a screwdriver and you can grab that bolt right there and loosen her up. And there should be one more right here in the corner. Two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the next one as well. Now that that's done, what you can do is lift the hood back up, 
jump in and set same clips that we're holding in the front grill are the same clips that you're going to remove for this one but then different spots so you got one there and you got one there and then same on the other side one there and one there so you see one two so i'm going to jump in i'll always say sweet all four right there super simple same thing you're just going to fall straight out the front just put them on pocket so i'm losing this and i always will bang oh no they're coming out the side even easier so I'll give you a comparison for you. So here's the difference. Now, I might not show up on camera, um, but basically this, the paint here on this had faded super bad, and you know, with age, being 32 years old, that's just gonna happen. So new ones in. Honestly, this plus the grill did not cost much, maybe $40 for all of it. That's shipped as well. Um, so yeah, it's a good little thing to do if you can't do that, obviously, just maybe repaint this. But I would, for the sake of not having to buy a spray can and all that kind of stuff, and then you know, mucking around with whether it you know, sets and all that kind of stuff, bang. That's it, easy shift, came in a week. Good stuff. Bang, all three out. All right, let's get them in. Now it's only sitting here that I realized that these actually aren't Euro grills. These are the US spec ones and they don't have the little loop over the top. And now I feel like a bit of an idiot because oh well, they're the wrong ones. But that being said, the car looks a lot cleaner in terms of you know less faded. See look at the comparison. This is the color that the thing I was before, the grill was before, and now look at that nice black plastic finish minus all the crap that I put on it. So that's the difference we're looking at there between those two. But like I said, they're not the Euro style grills, they're just BMW. Um, uh, you know. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps someone out there, but at the end of the day, don't take this as a tutorial. Take it more like, you know, just for your entertainment purposes. Um, yeah, so there you go. Not Euro grills, but that's how you install some grills on a BMW E30. Thanks.